in the right track, Iaknu will be using that in the side lanes. The, the, the rivalry even will happen now with OEB and Iaknu, but Nas has doing a great uh, history using this Uranus, trying to gain control in early game, and RSC is trying to do that in the side of Blacklist International. Yep. Nats has been great in being the disruptor in a lot of the team fights. He always gets a good position around fights in the middle of everyone. And we could see that in his performances with the Thams, but this time the Uranus, I'm sure it's quite easier to just dash in and walk inside the yeah, fight. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it's Uranus. Like, I'm here. Yeah, sure. Sure. Let's spin my discs around. Look at my discs. <laughs> look I'm at the just, damage. Look at look at my health. Yeah. It's gone. It's back. <laughs> it's <laughs> up and it's down. Yeah. <laughs> it just One last thing though I'm watching out for here. Look at the this double healer. I, I want to call this the Ube Fountain strat. Ooh. Uh, a lot of both Matilda and the Rafaela can increase the movement speed while provide healing. So it might mean they'll have a little bit of an easier time, you know, dodging the Abilities of demon kite, the thorn rose, uh, making sure you can av avoid oh, no. the energies of the Lilia so that you don't take up any damage. This Kaja pick will be the game changer, the X factor here for RSG. Oh. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we go in for the first game of Blacklist versus RSG. One quick thoughts on this one, you owe me. Who's going to have an advantage here in the early game? Definitely RSG. You're looking at a Bruno composition. Yes, you have the Mathilda to deal a little bit of poke damage, but if you're talking about follow through, Demon Kite has better burst potential in the early game. But moment late game starts, the moment you give the space for the Bruno to farm up, you could expect Weiss to just deal so much damage the moment he enters the fight. Mm, this is an interesting pick for Blacklist. They are not afraid to try something new. And RSG, you're saying that at this point, in this early stage, they might need to take this opportunity once Blacklist can go online. Yep, definitely. RSG, they need to capitalize on their early power spikes here. Try to pressure Weiss as much as possible. Yep. Not use this jawhead defensively as they're doing right now mm -hmm. and perhaps give Weiss a, let's just say, a slower rotation inside their own jungle. But that was a full clear, an entire clear with Weiss being safe and sound. Mm. As they want to focus on the early oh, game wow. stages here, Blacklist going in forward in the lane of RSG, just trying to hunt down Iaknu. Oh, there is the ejector. Haji will be going low here. Iaknu with their spawn in. Oh, oh, my Venus is guarding and trying to have this executed with the oh. open oh, double found this strategy, but he's still alive. She's still alive, rather. Oh, but that initiation, that was too close for Blacklist. A little bit too close for comfort, that's for sure. But Iaknu almost dying the hands of Weiss here, but Heath just in the moment. Oh, they're boxing it in. Heath with Ejector, with the Salmon Force laid down. Demon Kite gets the first heal. Ohem goes down. Weiss taken down. Heath with the trade of one to one. It is a one for one, and Weiss did survive. One is zero Bruno. You might not look at it as something big, but it's something that would give Blacklist a lot of comfort entering the mid game and a late game. Yeah, this is something else for Blacklist International, but I love that they're trying to build up this new strategy as Reptar said, the Ube Fountain Strat that can be given or with the burst damage given by the side of RSG. So that is one heck of a difference, but RSG right now, they're trying to gain advantage of this early game space that they're trying to do. Yeah, and they're gonna start Turtle already, and this is good for RSG. Making sure that you establish your dominance. It's Turtle, nice Phantom X, oh, combo! we have the Thorn Rose in and out in a triangle. That's Blacklist International trying to take the first step of the damage, but he is trying to guard in. He will be getting, will he be getting one more alley -oop? But Nats, here comes the Uranus. Circling Eagle going in from Oh My Venus. That is three versus four. Three versus three, rather, and the punish continues to show the here the positioning of Blacklist International. Weiss. Own all corners wise going in for that kick and for the balls. Nath is receiving some goals here. Wise Nath, he is still sustaining that damage. That is almost three. And initiating it, they're not going to be standing gonna be this down. It's going to be tough. Demon Kite, here comes response of oh. the Demon Kite. Oh, that was close. That was close for a 3v3 initiation. Yeah, Blacklist, they played that perfectly. RC already had control over that turtle. That's quite messed up for them, honestly. They had good control, but they bursted so many spells in trying to kill a member of Blacklist International that they forgot to retake the turtle. 
They gave out their uh, their pole position there. They almost got that turtle for free, but instead they lost members. They lost the turtle, and now Weiss is two zero. You don't want to see this from a Bruno. He's already ahead than the Lancelot. Mm, we were talking about earlier how RSG can take this advantage with the early game space, but right now Wise on a two zero. They're trying to be more aggressive, knowing that they were RSD for the, for that moment. They were trying to burn down some resources just to activate Blacklist to take those chances. And activating Blacklist at this point, it's already happening. 2-0 and Wise, 100% of the kills into the jungler for Blacklist. That's perfect for them. Meanwhile, for RSG, they really need to find an aggressive move here. Ooh, almost flicker. getting close for that hotness. Oh, Blacklist International 12. 0.5 goals Dash. they lead, but Das going to be in trouble here for Wise and Edward. But looking at the progress right now of RSG and Black, they have an advantage right now. What does this mean for Demon Kite? He was trying to be delayed in, on, on his farming by uh, Blacklist International. Yeah, I mean, Demon Kite at this point, he's not severely delayed. He mm -hmm. could go for aggressive kills, aggressive plays once again, perhaps even stealing this turtle away. Born Bros with Retribution, one of the best combos out there. But Edward in front. Oh, oh wow. up in front. Aqua Woo goes down. Edward takes in for the slash and kill. Turtle securely down by Weiss. Here comes the down force. Laid down by RSG. Edward poking in down Nats. Oh, he is too tough. For this armor, the sustain is just too strong. They're not getting into team fights right now. RSG is trying to be cautious against Blacklist composition. This is the MVP Benedetta coming in from Season 7 for Edward. And he just found Aqua in a bad spot destroyed. there. I feel like Black Shoes was available, but he didn't expect the damage coming in from Edward. He did. I think he did use his Execute at that time. Didn't give Aqua time at all to cast Black Shoes. Yeah, and those are two turtle fights in a row now that because of Edward's positioning, knowing that he can cut off the entry of RSG, waiting in the shrubs, or just basically standing in front of RSG as a sign of, hey, you can't come here anywhere near us. And again, with this double healer, Ube Fountain strategy for Blacklist International, even if you can get past Edward, it'll be tough to be able to land your skills, and there's a lot of healing you have to go through right now. And another thing that I want to point out here is wherever you go around the map, Blacklist International, the reason why they're able to keep up to the pace of RSG, who usually love their early to mid-game aggression to take control of the game early. Again, the movement speed provided by the Matilda and the Rafaela is just all over, man. Wherever you go, you can go fast. Oh, I love it. Response, the movement speed addition for initiation in case Blacklist International is going down in trouble. They were making use, of, they were trying to make use of the positioning, but the fight is not yet oh. over here. Blacklist going in aggressive. They trapped in one. Demon Kite in trouble. Will this be the exorcise that we're talking about? But he is going back with aggressive push here, going down from Blacklist International. Scattered out Iyak, New Heath, who will be the one. Edward as well. Oh, we have one disengaged a tactical defense there from Morrison. Blacklist in that entire fight, it's I think Edward carried the boat there, oh, but Edward it might just over. go down. Oh, that was Edward's gonna be on the low. Now huh? taking advantage oh, of this one. Heal. And that is the fourth third taking down by Blacklist. How what does this mean for now oh, right now for RSG? I am beginning to realize how deceptively tanky everyone in Blacklist International yeah. is. They do have two healers, they have the shields coming in from Guiding Wind. RSG could never truly find a good opportunity because even if when someone is already low, you need to take account the healing coming in from Haji, exactly. the healing coming in from Oh My Venus. And when you have so many heals, this is like Ube special Ube. Oh, this yeah. is like a different flavor of Ube. We're looking at an aggressive Ube. It's it's not no longer the defensive Ube where you wait for them yeah. to group up. This is more of that Ube with a little bit of a spiciness into it. That doesn't make sense in terms of food, <laughs> yeah. but man, but you, you'll it never works. Know. You'll never know. Everyone this day and age always adds chili to everything. So maybe it's the <laughs> Ube, Ube with chili oil. Yeah, oh, Ube yeah. with chili oil fountain. I will never eat that, <laughs> no. but right but now, it works. It works. RSG is eating up a whole load of it, and that's a pick-off. Oh, a pick-off coming in. Edward trapped oh, in two. Demon oh, fight. Oh, yeah, oh, oh, give it to him. 
see. Escape with the electrifying blow. Here comes Wise and Omega. How? This v Wise responding in, but that is Haji going in for that damage. Oh no! Oh, no. He's not. Oh. The Yakno oh. falling down. Double kill from Wise. That is a Bruno hitting those goals for Blacklist International. Can, oh, wait. sorry. So we need to do this. Uh, can we give a sheesh for that Edward play? Sheesh! sheesh. God damn! That Edward play with the Electo final blow, and they are just flexing here. Wow, that the response of Blacklist is showing. He's trapped in the middle. He's he down. goes down. No more Joe. That is 17, 16 minutes, and Blacklist International with three turtles. They can even end this game now. We'll if see. they do get a good team fight, maybe they can. But knowing Blacklist, they're very disciplined. They're going to back off yeah. if they think it's the right move. And I think they do. They will back off. No minion waves there. And and you gotta feel bad for RSG. That was the right call by Iaknu and Demon Kite. They had the clear target. It would have been a great pickoff. But then somehow, Edward getting away this MVP Benedetta. Let's see what he can do here in the jungle. Oh, I love how Blacklist International responded to that play. They were on point of the movement, movement speed that you've mentioned, the gift of speed, and the fountain of youth. Yeah. The blessing of health is flowing now for Blacklist, but RSG is still has a stronger force here even though there's a border patrol wise they're still holding down the line where they can defend themselves you know that's a good name for it let's let's uh, scrap ube with chili oil that's for the memes but this is the fountain of you i like it and now the lord will be slain it's a level one lord though a little bit of hope for rsg though it's a 12k gold lead 10 minutes in look at the dominance from blacklist international <laughs> Man, I, I don't even think at this point the dominant size that Nath's picked up earlier will reduce the healing! Oh, Nath in trouble. Oh, Heb taking Ouch. the first throw. Oh my god, that's Demon a Uranus! Kite. Oh! They have waste. Oh, they have used the Zaman Force there, Bruh. but Blacklist is just cornering up RSG right now, trying to enter the base. Oh my Venus! Wow! Oh, she take? Whoa! Bro, bro, that's a Uranus! In one hit for. My God! The burst and punish. Here comes Blacklist International sealing the takeoff for their first initiation in the siege. Continues to follow Blacklist aggressively, trying to find a pick off here in the side of RSG. That's five holding down on the right yes. side, but it's locked on the turret. Blacklist International continues to burst down, but they're all eyes on the prize. Base on the low, but Blacklist also Haji receives the fountain of you. The fountain, fountain of youth! <laughs> Once again, release the Lecto final blow and Blacklist International. Okay, okay. nothing okay. too wild right now. Uh, all right, Demon Kaiteezy, show me what you got. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now RSG responds for the final pick of Benedetta. They're, they're answering Blacklist strategy. They have a vision that, that can be provided, or a plus artillery firepower from the Farsa, plus movement speed. What does this mean right now for a Blacklist? Uh, with their composition. Well, that means they have to be careful with their positioning and how they engage team fights here. Uh, mm -hmm. The far side is going to be public enemy number one if you're blast Blacklist International. But put the far side on the Blacklist. You know, the moment you see it, no, you're not allowed in here. Got to take you out. Then at the same time, I'm thinking if RSG are going to be putting their focus into giving Oheb a difficult time. Again, mm -hmm. Lunoxes this season have had a difficult time 50 50 very 50 50 sometimes even 60 40 but more on the losing end and not to the fault of the players it's just a tough tough environment for a lunox to thrive in so blacklist have to watch out and maybe take care of their youngest son now we return to the game the second game of blacklist international and rsg philippines going back to what reptar said there now we might be seeing rsg taking advantage in the early game they have to do that in this game. They need to establish their aggressive plays early on. Make sure they succeed in it because if this goes to the late game, it's going to be extremely hard to kill Weiss with Oh My Venus here healing him up every time. But I would say the same for RSG. They are deceptively tanky here with the Raffaella mm -hmm. plus the Black Shoes coming in for the Lilia. Mm -hmm. RSG is trying to utilize their advantage and factor right now as early as level 1 and 2. Going in aggressive, diving wow. deep in blacklist territory, but Oh My Venus still maintaining damage from Aqua. Spams continues to happen here. 
as we are trying to expect. Bla or RSG is taking the wave. They, they need to do it. They have the power, firepower to do so. It's not going to make a lot of sense if they don't do it. So RSG, they are definitely invading. It might just even steal this away, but Weiss, all five bullets landing with a Rondo, but Heath is just going to heal away. Iaknu, though. I would say that Iaknu has an advantage in terms of range uh -huh. by level 4. Mm. I love how RSG is trying to balance or counter Blacklist. The heroes of Blacklist right now need to have precision, timing, because we have a, a minimum or a minimal CC from a Paquito and as well as a Wise needs to get his perfect timing. Perfect timing is releasing those Death Sonatas. It's all about precision and timing, but not extending into the late game of RSG. Yeah, in terms of timing, this is something that I notice ever since Season 7. Mm -hmm. Blacklist International, they've been picking up this... Uh, Granger pick since season seven, but all oh, that thought they're gonna go for it. Oh, Edor with the up and down slash Ooh. and control. First blood goes to Wise. Nat falls down. Contesting this circle. Electro final blow. Oh, oh, yeah. Whoa! Oh my Venus Wise with a double. That's Aqua escaping into the river. Damage continues to pull down. Haji taken down. Aqua, what just happened there? That huh? is terrible for RSG. They had proper control. They had a setup with the Electo final blow, but Demon Kite misses the retribution. And it was. Oh my feet! The Estes! The level 3 Estes with zero damage items. Yeah, it was Stealing away the turtle. It was. That was just an upgraded basic attack that somehow got it. Oh my god. You know, that, no. that's like one out of five chances. If if this was another episode of Marvel's What If Oh My Venus no. stole away the turtle? <laughs> <laughs> and what if Demon Kite was able to secure it? And that, that's oh all we can ask now. God. What if? RSG again. They handled that incredibly well. That looked like that was theirs. Is I don't know if it's like bad luck or just insane timing by the queen. That was crazy. Maybe a little bit of both Maybe here. a little bit. We were talking about precision. Now we're pondering to the question of what, what if us watchers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. I'm loving it. Now Blacklist scenes, seeing the potential of RSG right now. Taking early game with no damage. All they need to do is just stick with one another and their response is really Still going off, oh. point off, cap kill Heath. Oh, Yakno going out of the map. The advantage of wings by wings. Uh, that escape factor is just on point. Gotta say, Blackness International going back to the point. Hopefully, nothing happens for the next few seconds here. <laughs> In Season 7, they've always done this. Mm -hmm. After Wise's first rotation, they're gonna go immediately to the side lanes to burn the Death Sonata. Yeah. Burn a flicker out of the side lane and just put on the pressure in that one area again and again. And they're gonna gamble on that. And that gamble most likely works out for them. Because Blacklist International, the Granger pickup, this has been a signature rotation for them for their early rotations. So risk and also taking chances on precision. Timing is what was what uh, the, the key thing that you want to do right now for RSG. Definitely, but you know, Blacklist, they're always keen on saying that it's not a fluke. Maybe another Estes turtle here. Just, you know, <laughs> do it again. <laughs> you, you think it was a fluke? Let's do it again. If they get it again, I'm going to lose my mind, dude. Oh, this is crazy. We're pondering to the question of what if, but Haji, oh my Venus, that is a five man cornering the borders. That's on the low, taking oh, damage wow. with the bite, but he doesn't go in with the Detona's welcome. That is he regaining life back in out. Oh. Aqua, oh, the damage! Look at that Aqua going back in, missing in the trap, but that is Demon Kite and Heath as well going on low wise, releasing bullets out from RSG. Bang, bang, bang. One more hit. They decided to get a retreat. Another good decision from RSG. Not now. 401 on Wise. That's 100% kill participation for the jungler of Blackness International. Damage has been just reeling in with that early hunter strike as well. And I like early hunter strikes mm -hmm. on uh, mm -hmm. Rangers. It allows them to chase down units even without going for the run. Yeah, and now Nats here. We've seen him two turtle takes back to back. Uh, sort of coming just a little bit too early. 
so that RSG couldn't respond right away and Blacklist International were just able to straight up punish him. The moment they saw the Barretts, knowing how important he is to the lineup of RSG, they take him down, burst him down with the death and his welcome comes out. Well, it's not it's goodbye for Nats. But RSG were able to bring a tower down the bottom lane. Mm, that was a good sign for Ooh, RSG, but Haji going in deep Ooh. there in the middle, following down with three members of RSG. That's crazy. That's going to be an obvious kill there. But RSG, yeah, with the trade, Blacklist using pro activate or tempting RSG to use up resources that they can do. But for their movement and rotation that they did, RSG is trying to get back up with the trade of towers. That's already a one-to-one -one trade even for Blacklist. Yep. RSG, they did bait out Haji there. Great play coming in from Aqua with the Black Shoes. Mm -hmm. They need to capitalize on this. They need to get at least one objective and they're trying to do so right now. Oh, they have the zoning capability. Demon Kite being in trouble. Here comes Edward. Another tower tactical uh, pushback or somehow retreat to not engage but th they still have the first tier third there for RSG. It's still an advantage for them right now. Uh, for that, it's going to be a tight spot but Ooh. look at Nats getting for the- Oh! Oh! Edward with a jab in and now that was a fast Manny Pacquiao there. Nats in going down, mm -hmm. damage burning mm -hmm. down, unstoppable wise and releasing those Nats and Nats out, punching it, bang! Out with a punch, knock up out and the double continues to follow. That is Haji taken down, Iyaknu with a trade. That's almost four members out. Yeah, it's a four for one trade, only all my Venus going down. Might just be a wipeout here if Demonkai falls, but Edward misses the jab because of the eye for the eye here. RSG, they lost out on that fight mainly because they lack damage. The sustain coming in from Oh My Venus was more than enough to keep Blacklist alive. And the moment Haji came in in the back line together with White, baiting out everything with the Dead Sonata as well, it's just overall team play that gave Blacklist International that win over that fight. And because of that team play, they're the first team to reach 500 assists 500. this Whoa. season 8. 500. They're showing more capabilities. They're trying to make a statement here. Will this be another undefeated match of Blacklist International? But Arshi, good point there on Demon Kite. He can really totally cancel off ultimates, but Blacklist still being on precision and releasing those spells and even uh, ultimates quickly on point. Yeah, and range is king here turtle. for Wise. The Death Sonata has been used not only for the damage, but also for the utility. But Haji might be in trouble here. Swallowed in by Nat, but he's in trouble. Here comes Wise responding in with the bullets, receiving it on the other end. But Haji, Aqua, trying to get more more capability of zoning them out, but they're being trapped here with the fo with trying to retreat back. Aqua is just using them to peel back off. They're, they're a bit in a, a dangerous corner there if they went in forward. Yeah, and now Blacklist International are going to make their way up. Look at the oh! damage on Heath. Oh. <laughs> that, that, that's tough. That's tough, and that's a tower down. The second one uh, for RSG and Blacklist International in the lead in the towers. You see here now, they've sort of adjusted their play style. Now Demon Kite is trying to space out the map, trying to break down that mid lane tower. RSG now, though, the Iagnu Farsa is going to be something the Blacklist need to be careful of. Mm -hmm. Did already pick up the Winter Truncheon. At the same time, Oeb has, uh, not the Winter Truncheon, the Lightning Truncheon rather. Oeb has his Lightning Truncheon as well, and I believe he's well on his way with their items, but now Demon Kite in bad spot. 1v1 face of Electo, final blow for the escape. Away. That was so close, but that was a clearly a bold move just to not engage at all. Watch yeah. Haji. And right now though, they might just go for the engage here. Nice death to not cancel out oh, that he? ultimate. Knocked it out. Oh, not engaging too soon. RSG knowing what's going to happen there. Wise cleaning up resources not to make RSG get into the chance. But Iagnu go with the TPs there. They want more. I still believe in the confidence. Yeah, yeah. Blacklist International right now, they have a 9 out of 9 kill participation for Wise. This just goes to show that their aggressive rotations are always centered around the other half of the queen. Yeah, and as much as RSG and Iaku would think this is a great time to put up the Feathered Airstrike, I think he really has to wait. Because what we've seen lately is that why is it saving up the Death Sonatas for Iaknu? Find the Farsa and then rain down on her. Mm, they want to take that chance if they will get it, but that Haji going in low. Oh my, Venus connecting them. Hold it, hands! I am here, don't worry guys. Oh, oh, Demon Kite, another engage from Haji. Oh, no. In and out with the knockup. Using, they're using the ultimates right there from RSG as Reptar, you've mentioned. 
Blacklist is just waiting for the open window of RSG. But if they go for that decision to use those resources, they can be cornered for pickoff. Definitely. And now the Lord is in the hands of Blacklist International. They can speed this game up further. Mm -hmm. They've already sped up this game in the point that Blacklist International has already better damage. And right now, they could push that even further. What RSG could do is to try and kill the Lord as fast as possible. The moment that it spawns, limit the minions that will be empowered by it. Because the moment you get one inhibitor down, Blacklist International is just going to pummel it down again and again. I love it. Limit the pressure, go for the neck. Mm -hmm. That will be the key there for RSG to push forward. But Haji, he's still going in sneaky, sneaky here. Activated Feather Airstrike. Haji, is he going in from the back? Edward as well. Oh. Cornering oh. out. Two, three, and two. Edward just secure those initiated punch and knockout. Continues to follow. The 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 guy receiving on the other end, but damage continues. A defensive Electro final blow once again. But there on the low, but receive. Healing from Heath once again. A little bit too aggressive coming in from Blacklist International. They have the... Let's just say they have the damage to do that. The execution was great, but RSG's response was even better. Yeah. They mm. expected that Paquito to go in. Made it out that the tone is welcome. And Demon Kite getting two kills, but look oh, at that! The burst! The burst of Wise! His hits is too much to handle for Blacklist, but the response of that, that's the bite. And a shutdown for RSG. They're learning Haji from the might last be of the RSG. Haji in trouble and going back to what you said there RSG waited for that proper opportunity they know what's coming and just they, they just need to hold until this late game for their side Demon Kite 300 the rookie for RSG is their shining hope in this game the only one with a positive KDA the only one with actual good items here 3-0, oh, forces bad. the flicker, Nats might be dying here. Taking advantage of the positioning of RSG, quite going oh, low here, Nats on the back, dude. Edward continues to kill Look Nats, the dinosaur is not gonna hold, Edward with the punch, and the follow-up wow. of Yak to trade in by 1-1, one one. RSG responding, we can still make it happen. Demon Kite with nice cancels and nice timing on the eye for an eye, survives a 3v1 in that side of the fight. RSG, they're definitely still breathing in this game. Blacklist International has played super well in the early to mid game, but right now, RSG, they're pulling stops on their own. Yeah, they're fighting back. Demon Kite, again, has been an absolute demon for RSG right now, and now Blacklist are going to have a hard time positioning. Here comes Demon Kite coming from the back. Uh, G coming from the back, targeting. He's kicked back in the tower, receives damage. Oh, oh look my at God. That Blacklist International power oh, and punish hey. for Wise. Trapping Demon Kite, there's no one other way to escape this. That is 4-1, and that Demon Yikes. Kite goes down in the hands of Oheb. Just when you thought RSG was well alive and breathing, Oheb says no. He enters with a great Ruby DD play, and this might just be it. No, they're entering turret right now. Blacklist International seizing the opportunity. They're taking down RSG. Nats on low. Five man initiating, taking oh. down the last turret, going down one right. more. Nats. That's five members out for RSG. And I'm hearing all my Venus is saying, I want you, baby. We are levitating right now. And Blacklist remains undefeated. My God. Edward.